Coming up on this episode. Uh, I'm gonna strap it, I think. Yeah, you have to be so careful right now. They're all they're all on their way out. Yeah, they are starting to fall. Yeah. I mean that certainly isn't level. But I guess if we want to open it from the front, at least they won't come out at us now. So happy to be back in the cabin. Uh, hard to breathe with a respirator on like that. <laughs> Woo. Well, we're going out to get our very first solar panel out of this big crate that we brought on the trailer with us. There's 30 solar panels in this crate. We had 31, but one smashed when it was delivered. The forklift driver put his forks through it, I think. And here is the box with the others which frankly we've been a bit nervous about opening because it had a few bumps and I don't know if it's okay or not. But we're about to find out. We're about to find out. It's our other barge crank. Yeah. So this is Moment this is truth. yeah. A lot of opening up stuff here. This box here, it's packed full of 550 watt solar panels. There are 30 of them in here. They sure aren't doing us any good all crated up, so it'll be really great to pull them out and start putting them to work. I can't wait to start enjoying clean, quiet power without the noise and hassle of that gasoline powered generator. I think I might be a little bit surprised if they're okay. There is a few really bad sounds. I just don't want them all to come crashing down. Do you want me to come and hold them? Well. They're definitely leaning this way and it's downhill too. Yeah, they are leaning that way. So, I think what I'll do... Because you couldn't hold them by yourself last time. So, um... I think I should block this up. Yeah. You need the forks though. Hmm. Well, I can go get the forks in about two seconds. Yeah? Yeah. Do you mind just standing here like this for a minute? Nope. Okay, I'm holding these. I'm holding them. If I can hold them, I'm going to run because that's how Ryan might have injured his ribs. The first time was almost exactly this. They came crashing down. They weren't in a full crate, I don't think, at the time, though. They were just standing in the shop. So we'll see. Uh, we're on a bit of a incline here on this hill. Oh, he's going to go and change out the bucket for the forks. Your hydraulic hoses are in the way. Oh, they're starting to fall. Oh no. No dear. They were starting to fall. They're starting to fall out. Okay. Um you have to huh? I'm gonna strap it, I think. Yeah, you have to be so careful right now. They're all, they're all on their way out. Yeah, they are starting to fall. Yeah. Wow. 
And remember how it was the actual lifting them last time where they were acting like I could hear cracking sounds in them. Yeah, that was the, the crating. Yeah. Would you go around to the other side, please, honey? Okay. I am applying this strapping to prevent the solar panels from spilling out of the crate. It happened to me once before when they actually fell against me and sent me flying, injuring my ribs. That was not a fun day. Look at the pallets just mangled underneath. Oh, I know. I heard every bit of it when it happened. Yeah, it's a bit concerning. Um, hmm. There's a few logs here too. Some smaller ones there. See? Yeah, I don't need any. I've got real small ones now, which will give us just a slight. Okay, yeah. Slight tilt, right? Right. Oh boy. What do you think? Not too much of a tilt? No. I think it'll be okay. Can I back up? Yeah. Pull your forks down. Right down to the ground. I can't, honey, because I'm in between the layers. There. There we go. I mean, that certainly isn't level, but... I guess if we want to open it from the front, at least they won't come out at us now. There's 30 of them in there, sitting tight, right packed up against each other. We're going to be getting another 30 after this at some point, so this is the beginning. We want to be able to operate our shop fully and the cabins in the house and hope that um, 60, 550 watt panels will do the job. I think they should. Ryan's done a terrific amount of work making sure that we have what we need. I've walked down this so many times and each time I feel like I get a bit of a different view. For each season, even each month, it kind of changes. <laughs> Lots of grasses there right now. Ryan's socks hanging. <laughs> and the new window. That's kind of nice. Ryan's doing a little bit of cleanup here. See those the twins that are scaring and looming above our cabin here? He's decided to go in beside them and we're looking for a spot maybe to put our solar panels in there. Past their ways. But I think he's going to start clearing that out a little bit. I'm excited to see what he comes up with. was out clearing last night. Wow. Built this road up. Oh man, does that ever look nice? That road. That looks really good. Right in here. And then through here, we were thinking of 
have the solar panels set up this morning. But through here, we're thinking of taking these twins down. They're kind of leaning right towards us, which is a bit unnerving this morning. But And then going through there, and that's where we, we think at least for a temporary Temporary time we can put the solar array up? I'm thinking temporary can be out there. Honey. Oh, so what are you thinking here then? This is just to get access to these trees. Oh, really? Yeah. So you're not going to go there? Well, we, we might be able to make another cabin site though. <laughs> yep. That would be a really nice cabin site. I think so. Hello. Oh, they're gigantic. Wow. They're leaning now. They're leaning towards the cabin. I think we would need to have somebody professional come in there and take these out. I don't. <laughs> I really don't. I feel it would be a terrible risk. So you're not thinking of going any further in there and taking a look at the space? Well, we can, but uh, these trees have to come out to the whole purpose of this. Get in here so I have access to the trees. This tree sure looks better though. This big tree here is going to have to come out, honey. That one right there? Yeah. yeah, I think the roots have been toyed with a bit, so it may not be safe. And the one beside it looks good. Yeah. Oh my, we won't have any nice big trees there then. That is an unfortunate trade-off, but in order to ensure our safety, we will need to sacrifice some of these big, tall trees. Are you sure that first one has to go? No, I'm not sure. Yes, falling big trees is not something oh. I enjoy doing, but we must remember, they are called cabin crushers for a reason. What I was thinking <coughs> is, oh. we can do a run for the truck take all the garbage, bring back a couple of diesel fuel cans, fill up the machine. Mm -hmm. Yep. Goodness. So the smoke is back, unfortunately. I'm really sad about that because it was so beautiful here yesterday, but now I actually have just a little bit more hope that it's, it's going to be okay because we got a beautiful day of respite less yesterday, and it'll be okay. In late summer, the waters recede and the shoreline moves all the way out to where those grasses meet the lake. We call this our bonus beach, and it's a wonderful place for a late season campfire. Tonight, we're going for a little ride. <laughs> you okay back there? Yeah. We've got a whole bunch of garbage that we're going to take over to the trailer because we're heading out and we're going to get rid of our garbage and there's a special little thing in here. This is going to be a fun ride. This is what it looks like when you have a little tiny boat. and you're taking garbage and you got forest fire smoke this is what it looks like good times one of the things i appreciate about my wife is how balanced she is it doesn't matter how busy we get or how head down hectic our life is at any given moment she always manages to find the time to stop raise her eyes, look around, and spend a moment contemplating the beauty of the natural world. Melody is a terrific example of not letting your life pass you by. We thought that we'd treat ourselves and that we'd do a little bit of fishing on our way back, but all of a sudden, yeah, it's gotten kind of weird. <laughs> and it was really, really fast. 
I know. I know. Well, this is glass and beautiful, and then all of a sudden it decided to have a little issue. Like that fast. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> I'm so happy to be back in the cabin. Uh, hard to breathe with a respirator on like that. <laughs> Woo! And it was wild out there in the boat tonight, and it all happened so fast. Um. So I had my fishing rod and we were trolling and then, and it was beautiful. And then all of a sudden things just went really bad. And um, I don't know if you can see the waving trees. I mean, things are getting a little out of hand tonight. But I am so delighted that we are in a nice warm cabin lots of food we're gonna have a lovely dinner and this is just great <laughs> i don't mind so we're going off to town we're going off to town and hello who's are on our waiting? boat are you waiting are you patiently stay? waiting Stay on the boat. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> so you think it's time for a new boat? Pretty soon. Need a dock first, honey. Yeah, that's the thing that's keeping us from getting a decent boat is we don't have a dock. Yeah, yeah, I know. Get a dock. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of fish around us as we leave this morning. I bet you just a little bunch of little babies. Oh, there's some. Okay, look, at, look at this truck. <laughs> this is what happens when you go on the logging road. Yeah. What you doing? I'm putting some def in. Diesel exhaust fluid. For a deeper dive on def, what it is, and why it is used in diesel exhaust systems, check the link in the description below the video. You will be surprised. We're in the local town. Well, town hour and a half away from the island. Oh, our poor truck. It needs a bath like nobody's business and a little cosmetic work done on its back end. Oh, what a mess. <laughs> Just a mess. Whoa. Poor truck. When you think of all this truck's gone through, eh? Oh, yeah. And now, this tailgate. <laughs> now this is what happens to little doggies who don't listen very well. They have to spend a time out in the corner. Wow. 
a lot of people have their their driving cams on, eh? Yeah. It's a smart thing to do, actually. It really is because you never miss. You'd never miss anything that went on that you just couldn't explain after. You'd be like, oh, because how often do you see that happen? Like mm -hmm. all the time. You're like, you wouldn't believe what I saw. But, oh, really? We should put a little card in ours. Get yeah. It, get it up there. We should. Sometimes we, we see moose and bear and stuff. I know. After a quick stop at Tim's for some rocket fuel, we will be heading to Home Depot for a supply run. Okay, so we just stopped off and got a whole bunch of lavender plants. The reason why we're doing this, and I'm so excited, is because, as you know, we have a mosquito problem on the island. And we have come into town in our wonderfully clean, beautiful truck um, to get a few supplies. So... <laughs> We do have the spray that we haven't even used yet because we've been so busy and I just feel like this is going to be a quick fix. And we have some little tomato starters and so for those of you who are major gardeners, you're probably just dying right now. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh yikes. Not healthy. Anyways, um, until that all happens. So until I can plant these in a lovely way, they may look a little bit, but look at this one. It's already got a tomato on it and it's literally the plant's dead. So I feel like that's gonna be a winner. But we're gonna use for the countertop of the kitchenette. Then we have a cement backer board for our inverter for the solar panels. So of course we have to fill up all of these gas cans and we're gonna be off and running soon. With the thicketing smoke, we abandoned our solar project for the day. We decided to bug out and use the opportunity to do a supply run. Hopefully, we'll be able to return in a day or two. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please support us by clicking the thumbs up icon on YouTube. We invite you to also subscribe and click the bell. You'll be notified when we upload new content. Please invite your friends and family to come along too. Bye for now.